Hi and welcome to Onto Wheels. Today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of having a side stand switch, how to install one, and how to bypass it if necessary. So a lot of motorcycles come with a side stand switch, but what does it really do? Essentially it makes sure that the engine doesn't run if the bike is in gear and the side stand is down. So basically you won't ride off with the side stand down, lean to the left and then get shot into the air with the side stand digging in. But why is it a bad thing? Well when you're riding off road like dirt bikes are meant to be ridden, to take off and come down for a hard landing and that hard landing could cause the side stand to spring down momentarily and for that brief moment your engine will cut out and that's not a good thing it's not happened to me yet but i've heard of many stories of this happening to riders so when i bought this bike the side stand was already removed and bypassed Now, for my roadworthy, I need to put one back in. So let's start off with the process. If all is well, you'll see a green plug. That's where the switch goes. I then grab the side stand switch and direct the wire along the frame to the main harness underneath the seat. If you've got the original clip, it's a direct plug and play. So how does the bypass work? The switch is basically an electric circuit that opens and closes. In this case, here's how the switch goes. When the side stand is up, the circuit closes. And when the circuit is closed, electricity flows. And when electricity flows, the engine runs. If the side stand is down, the circuit is open and when the circuit is open, the electricity doesn't flow and the engine doesn't run. To bypass the side stand switch, we just need to make sure that the electricity keeps flowing. And there's a couple of ways that we can do this bypass. First, you can stick a wiring clip in there and short circuit the two wires. Or number two, you could simply cut the wire and solder the ends together. Just make sure to insulate it well afterwards. Look, in the end, it's personal preference. I prefer to keep the switch on because I've had a few scary moments by rolling off with this kickstand down. But hey, at least now you know your options. Let me know if you found this useful. And if you did, like this video and subscribe to On Two Wheels. And to get quick tips like this for the DRZ400, click on the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thank you for watching On Two Wheels.